All right, this video we're gonna talk about a cross haul system. A cross haul is a type of offset. Um, it's one we use quite often on jobs and in training to move a package, be it a uh, victim or gear, across a horizontal span. So instead of having to do a full on twin tracking line, high line system, um, and a reeving system along with it, we can do something as simple as this, you know, which is called a cross haul system or, or a two rope system, okay? So on here, well, all we have is we have a main and blay on one side, a main and blay on the other. And what's gonna happen is both sides are just gonna coordinate between each other and they're gonna lower down and haul up and they're gonna move the package across that horizontal span and where they need to get it, okay? So again, it's pretty ideal, very simple, very easy to operate. How we have our connection set up to here to our package real quick just to talk about is we have both lines coming down and we have into scaffold knots into our carabiners. The reason why we like scaffold knots is that is because at some points uh, one of these sides might become a little bit slack and this keeps them on the spine side of our carabiners so they don't cross load. Something else, another thing that we do quite often as well is if we have a thicker anchor plate, what we'll do is we'll tie these directly into the anchor plate as well. So either way is appropriate. Um, anchor plate, two, two carabiners going into our victim's harness or into, or into the into, into package and then we're good to go. Um, this is our typical setup that we use for uh, a one person or just for gear. If we were going to add a litter to this or add a rescuer with a litter onto this whole system, what we would do is we would take these two lines right here and we would make these into uh, long tail butterflies or long tail bow ones on them. That would allow us to give us two more points of connection for the, for the victim and for the rescuer that are on the litter, okay? Um, so that's our, that's our victim connection points uh, pa patient packaging. We'll go up and we'll take a look at the, uh, how the system's actually operated. All right, now we're up top, just taking a look at our cross haul system. On one side, we have a twin tension system set up with dual clutches, going into our Vortex multi-pod, up into two pulleys up top, then going across to the, our victim, and then going across over to the other side. The other side of our cross haul, we have just a more traditional setup with a Maestro and an ASAP as our belay, okay? Um, two of our concerns for using a system like this going across is, um, is A, is your resultant. So you have to be mindful of the fact that the resultants that we're using shift are gonna shift tremendously throughout this because we're moving our victim across the span back and forth. So your resultant is gonna be shifting significantly from here to here to here as he goes across. So be mindful of that. Make sure your tripods, your multipods are all tied down appropriately um, and your anchors are good to go. The other big concern for us um, is our interior angle. So the interior angle on, uh, as you can see down there on our victim, you know, that anchor plate, we wanna try to keep that around 90 degrees if possible. Um, but again, if we have to go up around 120 or higher, we can do that. We just have to be mindful of what our anchors are, make sure we have uh, good enough anchors, good enough rigging, and we can accomplish that as well. But again, our, our ideal is at 90 degrees, that interior angle, that gives us about 70% of the load on each anchor.